search for a missing woman is expected to continue today here on the Detroit River. This is a story that we first brought you as breaking news last night at 11. Investigators say a woman went into the water in Gibraltar at the Humbug Marina and never came out. 7X News reporter Matthew Smith joins us live. So Matt, where does the search stand right now? Well, they had to call it off late last night because the search crews that were out there, the investigators, they didn't actually have lights on the rescue boats that were out there on the Detroit River looking for this 45 year old woman. In fact, we actually have a crew out in Gibraltar right now so we can show you what it looks like. We are starting to get the first peaks, the first hints of some sunlight out there, but so far the crews have not yet returned. Not a lot going on out here at this hour. We were there last night as well. In the initial report, I want to let you know that came in around six o'clock at night, so they worked for about four hours before calling off the search that sent in a scramble of first responders, including Coast Guard, a dive team, Gibraltar Police, Fire and Groziel Fire Department. They do hope to resume that search later today, but as of right now, we have not yet seen that happen. And we do want to point out that this is also going to be weather dependent. So we'll have to stand by to see if crews do return out there and continue that work to search for that 45 year old missing woman. Was there anyone else around at the time? Do we know how this woman went into the river? So we don't know how the woman went in, but it seems like police and fire crews that are working to find her will have at least some idea. They did have a targeted search area near that marina, but also there was another person because they were talking to them later in the evening over at City Hall there in Gibraltar. So we know somebody else at least witnessed or knew something about the scenario which would have brought her out onto the Detroit River. But so far, that information has not yet been released. We'll stay on top of it as we learn more. We'll update you here and WXYZ.com. All right. Thank you so much, Matt, for that live report.